I'm going to try and show you how to do a dressing on a dog. Um, make sure you have all your equipment ready first, that you have some scissors with blunt ends so you reduce the chances of cutting the animal. Um, you have some protective bandage which is known as soft band or you can use cotton wool. Um, you can have a white open weave bandage or conforming bandage to go over the top of the cotton wool or soft band. You use vet wrap to go over the top of the conforming bandage. Um, you can also have, um, instead of the vet wrap, this is uh, very similar to vet wrap and you can buy it in Morrison's. Um, and then to secure a bandage you have elastoplast. I always cut mine into strips to make it easier to use. Um, and also if you've got um, a wound then protect it with some melanin using the shiny side next to the wound itself. So here goes, let's hope Archie cooperates. First of all, you have to protect between the toes. Stay still, boy. Good boy. Stay still. Good boy. And you hold between the toes using your thumb and underside with your fingers. Once you've done between the toes, not forgetting the dew claw, you must also put some cotton wool underneath the stopper pad here. So this is instead of using the soft band. Next, you use your conforming bandage. And what you must start to do, oi, don't chew it, is you have the white bandage on top. You do a double layer to begin with. You do a half turn using your thumb to hold it. Slide your thumb out and go over the top and basically just keep going round until you've secured all of the foot in and tidy it up at the end. Stay still. Good boy. And then go up above the joint as you need to secure above the joint. Good boy. You then use your protective layer of bandage. Same again. You want to make sure it's not too tight. Double it up. You're holding it with your index, uh, your middle finger as well underneath. Do the twist so it's halved. This is the tricky bit because you're sliding your finger out, trying to keep it all in place. And also trying to make sure it's not too tight. Ideally, you'll have someone holding the dog's paw for you as well. And if you have got a helper, it helps if they are holding behind the elbow to keep the leg still. This way, you've crossed over, everything's in. Good boy, Archie. You haven't even got an injury, have you, boy? Hey? Stay still, good boy. Tie that on there. Make sure it's nice and neat. Give the bandage a bit of a squeeze, check it doesn't feel too tight, but equally it mustn't feel too loose. Then next thing you need to do is get your pre-cut Elastoplast. This might be too long. It looks a bit rough around the edges, but uh, that doesn't matter. And just secure it so that you've got roughly half on the bandage and half on the dog's leg. So it's covering the hair. This will help anchor the bandage. Give it a squeeze and check. When a bandage is on, you need to be checking it doesn't get wet, that the dog doesn't chew it and there's no swelling here. If there's any swelling here, then you need to remove the bandage. If it becomes wet, it needs to be removed. You also need to check for smells because any odors could indicate that the wound has become infected. I hope that helps.